Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Here we are again. Okay. This video is 100 tips to, to avoid running out of food and money. And I thought, wow, if I could get my cheap tips out there, all of them in one video, and if a person was to do this habitually, then chances are they wouldn't be running out of food or money. Um, when I used to work in the salons, people used to ask me, how do you do it? And I, I used to try and tell them, and, and it's really not that easy to convey. So I think it was yesterday, maybe the day before, I did a video on 67 cent meals. I think it was the day before yesterday. And so I had for dinner on those two days, I had one sausage and eggs because I was cutting my carbs down a little bit. And then last night I had bacon and eggs. So if you, um, you know, you have eggs and you have a little cheap meat, that's really going to help. So today I was at Walmart. These are four for a dollar. You know, if you want pizza. Okay, and then, uh, you know, I was on this thing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what if we can't get yeast? What if we can't get this? What if we can't get that? How about just stocking up some of this and making some biscuits? Why I bought this is I like to uh, wrap um, hot dogs in it, and then I will roll them up and I will cook them on top of the stove. I will make a foil tent and I'll just flip them around until the, the biscuits are done. Uh, 90 cents at Walmart. And then I bought a pecan pie for 50 cents. The guy was unloading them and I said, can you please give me a, a fresh pecan pie? So I got for 50 cents. And then uh, yesterday I bought this lipstick for a dollar orange. Now orange is a color that a brunette, a blonde, or a redhead is gonna look really uh, good in. Any color I dye my hair, orange looks good. This is really nice. Uh, the other good color is teal. Okay, so now let's get to the 100, 100 tips to avoid running out of money and food or and if you do these habitually, once you learn these and you start doing them little by little by little, then you're gonna, uh, you're gonna be in so much better shape and you're not gonna suffer. Let me see if this thing is still going. Okay, now. Tip number one, don't pay yourself until Monday. I learned this when I first became a hairdresser and I worked for this woman, Eva Ashley. And she, I, I applied for a job and she called me and she said, God has told me to hire you. And my mom goes, I like her. So um, she, the first time I got paid, she goes, now don't spend your um, paycheck until Monday. And so when I was really young, I started doing this and you'll see videos. As soon as you get paid, Fill up the car with gas, buy groceries, basically eliminate every dollar you have. And so when I was working, a lot of times I would also work Saturday and Sunday and people would come to work on Monday so broke. And you can spend a lot of money on the weekends. So if you don't do that and you eat all the food in your house and you get by till Monday, you're gonna, mo that's like three, four, three sevenths of the week a uh, half day would make it half the week. So you have to be very careful on the weekends. Don't pay yourself until Monday. Number two, work an extra day or work two jobs. If you don't have enough money, you might be going, well, I don't even have a job as it is. What I used to do is I used to make finding a job my job. Get a job, get a better job. Remember, Hillary? But if you do have a job, try to work uh, another day, one time I was young, I was working as uh, a hairdresser, and right next to us was a bakery, and I went over and uh, worked, I think it was three or four nights a week at the bakery, and, and I had my son in a pub, in a private school, and it was so hard for me to pay for it. 
and my second job only paid like $189 every two weeks, but somehow with just that extra money, a little extra money, I was able to pay all my bills off and within six months I was in a really good spot. And that was during a, a recession too. Okay, number three, don't buy new stuff because your stuff shows wear. Okay, you know, most women are famous for this. Oh no, I scuffed my purse up. Oh no, you know, the couch is showing a little wear. So just get into the habit of saying, you know, when I'm feng shui in the house, I'm, I'm cleaning, I'm uh, getting rid of everything damaged, broken, or chipped within reason. But don't get rid of your stuff just because it's showing some wear. Just keep using it until it's totally shot. That will save you a lot of money. I'm not saying go around looking like a bum, which I do sometimes, but I'm not saying to do that, but it saves a lot of money. Okay, now this is the one that's going to get me in big trouble, but this will really help you out. It's very hot here. I hope I can stand this. Number four. Find ways to avoid or postpone paying your bills. I will give you an example. Say you have a Walmart credit card and you have a grocery allowance for $40. Don't just go on Friday and, and spend your $40. Put your um, $40 on the Walmart card so your card is satisfied and basically you still have your $40 and then carefully purchase things that you need, only as you need them. So everyone is gonna hate me. I did a video and it went across so bad, I had to take it down. I said, okay, I, I can tell people don't wanna listen to this, but there's somebody out there who's gonna get it. And if you do this habitually, you're not gonna be running out of money and you're, you're gonna be able to get by until payday. Okay, the other thing is, is um, if your bill is due on the 28th, don't pay everything on the first of the month and leave yourself broke. Don't pay it until the 28th or the 27th because sometimes you can get messed up. Any bill. Don't pay the bill until the bill is due. That is gonna help you so much. If you need $5 here, like if you get paid twice uh, twice a month and you can you know get five more dollars for your credit card again and you know you can go and have a little hamburger and a coke okay now the other thing is like say if you need something like it's getting close and you don't have much money yesterday i did a video and i bought little packages of conditioner for a dollar don't go out and when you have very little money left and buy um a 14 or an 18 dollar uh, liter of conditioner just buy a dollar um a dollar package to get you by and believe it or not your kids are going to pick these ways up okay now buy cheap meat you might go i don't like cheap meat well running out of food running out of money is really bad and check walmart first buy bacon ins i buy those at albertson's chicken i buy chicken tenderloins at walmart because it's all meat i'm not paying for bone hamburger part soy i don't like hamburger part soy i, I don't like it that much either but until you get a little more uh, financially well off turkey burger i buy that uh 12 ounces for uh two dollars at 99 cent only but walmart has two kinds it has taco and turkey turkey meat for $1.66 for a pound. Is it the best turkey meat I've ever tasted? No, but it'll do to make a little batch of cheap tacos. Hot dogs and pork sausage. So the night before last I had bacon and eggs and last night I had sausage and eggs. Was I suffering? No. Number six, buy 60 eggs at the beginning of the month cheese what i do is i just buy a couple cheese a couple like half pound cheeses or cheese constantly because if you have cheese you can make macaroni and cheese and milk buy powdered milk find the cheapest place 
I think the best, cheapest place is Walmart because they have the box of powdered milk and you get um, you get 10 pouches for $9, so that's cheaper than a dollar each. You're, you might go, well, you're only um, saving a dime. Well, yeah, tell me that after you drink the last nine pouches. So as you can see already, these are very good um, tips. Okay, this is what's going on right now. I'm standing here sweating. Avoid using air conditioning and heat. What I do is I suffer all day, but at night I run it because I'm an insomniac and anything that makes me not sleep. Okay, number eight. Buy everything you can at a $1 store. Okay, you saw uh, yesterday I bought a face cream for $1.99. I buy two or three bars of soap for a dollar as opposed to one dollar and just get into these habits of being very, very thrifty. I mean, don't make life miserable, but if you buy three bars of soap as opposed to one, once you use the one up, you've still got two left. Okay, buy everything you can at a thrift store. I'm in a thrift store a lot because I buy stuff at a thrift store to sell. But if you can kind of get into this habit, I bought my son a whole bunch of shirts for Christmas at a thrift store and he's still wearing them. And I bought this blouse. Okay, they say leopard and, and jungle prints are not trending. I, it is trending, none trended five times since I had this uh, shirt that I bought at a thrift store. I can wear this five, five years and then I can sell it at the swap meet for $3. 10. Okay, buy a cheap item first. Where this first started was, do you remember the floating hearts? They were like a little heart and you hung it on one of the, I wanted one so bad, but what I did is I bought a fake one and I was very satisfied and I started that up. Christmas, I wanted a mini fireplace, you know, the fake fireplace. So I bought one at a thrift store and I paid $5 and I was very glad I bought that. And um, also I bought a waterfall at the thrift store to see if I would really like it, you know, for feng shui, and I really did like it. I, I'm not trying to um, access the gods. I'm just trying to get myself a nice environment, and the feng shui works really good. And I'll be uh, setting up um, a fish bowl, too, that I bought at the dollar store. So uh, try to think, okay, can I be satisfied with a cheap one? Okay, you know I like uh, gold bracelets. This is like a 18 karat gold plated watch. And it, it's so much cheaper than a gold bracelet. And then, you know, I have all various, you know, fake gold bracelets. Okay, buy everything possible on sale. A lot of times, if you've been following me, you've seen me do it, and I buy stuff for Christmas 80% off. Number 12, prepare for the holidays little by little. Okay, one of the next holidays coming up is Halloween, so I saw they had Rice Krispies for a dollar at the Dollar Tree, and I know I like Rice Krispie treats every year at Halloween, so I bought two boxes cereal for eating too and i already bought the marshmallows so i'm good to go then after that we have thanksgiving so pick up some cranberry sauce pick up some of those dehydrated onions you know and and if you have birthdays start preparing a little by little buy one or two gifts a month so that when the the holiday comes you don't have to you know spend so much money Consider gifts, Christmas gifts at the thrift store. So this was the first year I ever really did this and I didn't buy my son's girlfriend's gifts at the thrift store, but I did buy my son a bunch of gifts and he really liked them. So he said he did. So consider that, you know, it's possible. I think somebody would like to get this. Okay, buy luxury items used or at a thrift store. Okay, I showed you guys the sunglasses I got at a thrift store and Walmart will readjust them. 
So um, sunglasses, clothes, coats, whatever you can find if you see them and it's something that you could really use, buy it at a thrift store. Uh, somebody's going to be really, really happy with that J. Crew coat I got. Start an eBay or swap meet or flea market business or yard sale and don't say, I don't want to do that. Well, uh, it, it's not that pleasant, but when you get the hang of it, it's not that bad either. And then you can get rid of your junk and you could go and you could buy a stockpile of food or you could buy something that you otherwise wouldn't want to spend money on. Or you could at that time. Now I wouldn't fill my car up with gas and spend all of my money. What I used to do when I went to the uh, swap meet is I would swing by and buy $30 worth of food at 99 cent only and that's all I bought. Okay. So that was tip number 15. Okay, eat number 16. Eat out of your stockpile and avoid spending money for one week as best you can. So if you have a hamburger helper in there, you're gonna have a hamburger helper. If you have a rice, rice aroni, have that, or some macaroni and cheese, or you know, if you have um, meat in your freezer, eat that up, don't buy more, eat what you have first and then buy more. Okay, number 70. Okay, you haters out there, this is for people that can really use it. Go to the food pantry to avoid buying groceries. If you're just about to get evicted, if you can't, if you don't have money to get gas to go to work, if you know you're just like tapped out, go to the food banks and go to the um, food pantry. And I showed you the food that I got, and it was really nice food. I'm so cheap; it was better food than I usually eat. Okay. Number 18, make food that requires the fewest ingredients. Like one thing I'm gonna make is I have kielbasa sausage, and what I do is I boil it, I prick it so it doesn't explode, and then I heat it on all sides and brown it, and then I bought the biscuit mix to make some biscuits, roll it in there, I'm gonna make a foil tent. Uh, when you cook on a foil tent, just heat your pan to low and put a little oil, and I will make myself a nice, Cabasso sausage in biscuits. So that's got very few ingredients or like eggs and bread, you know, just make the least ingredients gonna be cheaper. Okay, leave ingredients out. Like tea, just don't put tea. Habitually drink your tea with no sugar. Then if you wanna make some cookies or something, you still have your sugar. And so that seems minor, but when you do this habitually, then you're not gonna be running out of stuff all the time. Or like, um, you can leave part of the butter or shortening out, you know, say, use only like um, a half a cup rather than three quarters of a cup or combine um, a cheaper ingredient like margarine and, um, butter or like olive oil and all oil to make it cheaper and try to go without using so much ketchup mustard and pickles you know sometimes you just need a little bit and get into the habit of doing that and then you're not going to be running out of stuff all the time so you might go and go wow your your tips are miserable yeah that's true but once you get the hang of them then you're not gonna be running out of money. You know, people with money do this all the time, this kind of stuff. Add less ingredients, so that was it, like oil, cheese, and meat. Sometimes, you know, instead of like just putting a whole half a pound of cheese on your, um, like your casserole, just sprinkle your casserole. And a lot of times, if you're making like a hamburger helper, you can just use one hamburger patty, part soy. That's really cheap. And don't use up the last bit of something just because there's a little bit left. Just save it and then eat it later. 21, try to find curbside stuff you need. Okay, when I moved, I had to donate my um, 
patio table and chairs and I was really heartbroken because I found a really nice big one and then I couldn't find another one like that again because my, my um, balcony is narrow. But out here at the dumpster, somebody left that little table with two chairs and it was pretty nice and it'll serve my purpose. And then I got two little tables and if you saw my uh, little tea party, they're out there and, and I won't buy any patio furniture. I'll just use that for now, it's good enough. Okay, try to acquire curbside items to sell at your yard sale. You might not want other people's junk. Yeah, that's understandable, but this last week I found a catcher's mitt and a baseball mitt, and you know, I'll sell them at the thrift store, at the swap meet, I still stuff for $3. So if you saw $6 laying on the ground, you, you would get it. Okay, number 23, consider trying to collect $3 worth of cans. It's not that hard to do. I did it one day on the way home from uh, El Cajon to La Mesa. And so if you did this habitually, wear gloves because of the corona. Then if you were down to your last bit of money, you could cash in your um, cans and you could get some money. My, I give mine to my neighbor and he told me he got 60 something dollars. So just make the habit of these little uh, money-making ways. Even kids can do them, uh, but you have to be careful because in some uh, areas, the can collectors are uh, territorial. So you probably don't want your teenagers going out by themselves. Okay, 24, try two meals instead of three meals or make the third meal a small meal. And over time, that's gonna save you money. Okay, I knew this woman and she came from India and I mean, they were barely getting by and she said to her husband, we have to save some money. We can go on like this forever or we're gonna do something drastic. So they only ate every other day. You know, you see these people who own motels and, and so one time for my tip, she brought me a box of these cinnamon rolls and at the time they were like 75 cents, you know, the little round pinwheel. And she goes, I really love these and I thought, She's probably been eating these for years. I love them too with tea. Okay, try sharing your resources with friends and family. Like you cook one night, they cook one night, or you bring something, they bring something. So you're not eating your um, own cooking all the time, but you're also um, saving money. Okay, try to buy markdown produce and meat and uh, dairy and I do this all the time I'm better at it now than when I first started so if you can get the hang of the markdown shopping you really get all I do is if I go into Walmart and I'm shopping I swing by and um, I check the markdown place uh, most Walmarts have them 99 cent and if there's something I buy it usually what I'm looking for is canned goods because those will last forever in your stockpile Another thing, if things start getting really bad and the neighbor said, do you have any food? You could give them some of the dented cans and packages. I would hesitate to uh, turn anyone away. Okay, so on your dented cans and packages, you're paying 50%, 50 cents instead of a dollar. So you're getting two for the price of one. Like, uh, Sometimes one or two were missing, but that one wasn't just uh, some, uh, some somebody tore up in the package or it ripped. Okay, this is a really cheap thing to do. Cut your containers open to get the last bit of face cream, shampoo, detergent, disc detergent, uh, laundry detergent out. And usually you can get one or two uh, more uses out of it by doing that. 29, buy the largest containers of products. Okay, the thing that comes to mind is buy the 50 ounce dish detergent as opposed to the 30. And so you might be saying, well, the, the 30 works better. Yeah, but you're getting almost twice as much product. So consider that. Also, I've been buying the big, um, 
boxes of corn flakes is at Walmart for a dollar. It's the biggest box of cereal you can get for a dollar. Number 30, refill water. So here there's a kiosk where I can refill the water for uh, 20 cents. It's a hassle, but you're getting five gallons of water as opposed to one. Okay, now this is a real cheap thing. Rewear clothes if you can, not socks and underwear, and hang up your towels. I mean, you're clean after you dry off, and uh, sometimes if your stuff is not heavily um, soiled at all, you can wear it for two days. Okay, rather than spend your last bit of money on something you need, like uh, anything, food, detergent, laundry soap see if you can borrow some from parents neighbors or friends or if they will let you do the laundry at their house that's going to save you from spending your last few dollars i mean don't be a moocher but you know what i mean okay wash your clothes and hang them dry as much as you possibly can and that is going to save you money Okay, wash dishes by hand as opposed to using the dishwasher. It's going to save you money. What I do is I fill the, the sink with hot, suzzy water. I throw the dishes in there. I let them soak for at least 10 minutes. Then I knock everything off of them and I put it on the other side of the sink. And then I drain it, making sure nothing goes down the sink. And I wash the sink out. And then I put the dishes in the... This is no problem. I put the dishes in back in the clean side. I fill it with soapy hot water and then I wash the dishes. And then I fill the sink with hot water and I rinse the dishes. And then I drain that and then I just rinse them off. And you know, it's very simple. So wash your dishes. That'll save you a lot of money. Okay, if you're getting low on, on money, don't go buy uh, toothpaste you know, a few days before uh, payday, use soda and salt. Um, you know, one time I saw this guy with big body washes in the dollar store and I thought, do you, I said to him, do you wash your hair? And he says, no, it's just for my body. But in a pinch, you could wash your hair with a body wash. Your hair isn't gonna like it, but it's better than dirty hair. And then you can use detergent instead of, uh, you know, cleaner detergent and bleach uh, vinegar and uh, detergent cleans good um, that's a good one uh, use newspapers instead of paper towels try to eliminate paper towels as and um, napkins as much as you can that one's a misery for me but it can be done better than running out of money okay and then find cheap food at Dollar Tree or you know go out and get a cheap meal. Okay, so Dollar Tree has hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, and bean burritos and pizzas for a dollar. Taco Bell has a good burrito for a dollar. Jack in the Box has tacos, good ones, two for a dollar. McDonald's has good breakfast sandwiches and uh, burritos for a dollar. So be thinking about that. That's a good way to do it too. And then some cheap ones are Top Ramen, Vienna Sausage and Crackers, Soup out of the can. Uh, Aldi's has a good deal on pizza. At Walmart, Aldi's, and Dollar Tree for pizza. Okay, 38. Drink tea that costs one dollar per, per bag. That's what I have here. And if you keep it nice and cold, no, that's chamomile tea. Okay, if you are a smoker and you're getting very low on money, this is dangerous, but collect cigarette butts and remove the tobacco and re-roll them. Don't spend your last few dollars um, on um, cigarettes. Also, if you go to Cowboy Ken Rollings on his, um, his yeast, video that liquid on top of the yeast all you need is i think a potato flour and water is can be um, consumed as alcohol so consider that rather than spending your last dollar on alcohol okay 
consider ways to, when you're getting really broke, um, put beans with one tablespoon of olive oil or meat drippings. That's really cheap. Uh, meat drippings make gravy and eat that with bread. Uh, crackers and uh, crackers and peanut butter or cheese. Okay, and then if if you're making food for your kids, make extra in case the, the friends don't have any stuff to eat. I used to do that with my son. And then if you can, get an ice cooler that's just for your car and keep food in there. Or if you're bringing your meat and stuff home in the boiling hot, and yogurt and stuff like that, ice cream, keep a cooler in your car. Number 42, make yogurt. I've done that many times. It's really going to save you money and then you're not gonna be dairy deficient. Okay. I discovered Walmart has really, really good cookies for $1.38 or buy them at the dollar store. Look at these, have you tried them? So consider cookies from Walmart or the Dollar Tree. Rye bread marked down. I can get bread marked down all the time here and freeze. Okay. So cheap sandwiches, bologna, peanut butter, and egg salad. And then, you know, those are really cheap meals. Back to the 67 cent meal. A nice sandwich and a few cookies okay go as long as you can between haircuts I mean hairdressers are gonna hate me but this is for people who are really broke wait as long as you possibly can between haircuts and then go to a barber college or a beauty college is it gonna be good like somebody who's done hair for 50 years like me no but you know then when you get more money go to better places Try to grow food out of your seeds. Like conserve all the seeds out of your food. Here's all my seeds. Somebody says it takes 10 years to grow uh, an avocado tree. Save all your seeds and try to grow them. I've been pretty successful at that. Okay, 49, eat your leftovers down, but if you don't eat them, freeze them and then eat them later. And chances are, if you do that habitually, somebody said since they started doing this under comments, read the comments, that they aren't running out of food anymore. I can see that. I do that anyway. I just eat it usually. Okay, and when you have half-eaten packages, keep them in one place and try to eat those down. Like I have a pa half a package of spaghetti, so I wanna make spaghetti pretty soon. Okay, now this is like really really cheap okay if you take a vitamin every day try and it's solid try to eat three quarters drink with water three quarters of the vitamin and then on the fourth day you have three quarters of a vitamin and then you know every for like a couple days take a whole vitamin that's going to keep you from running out any any drugs like if you're in any danger of of running out i mean it's a bad thing to do but it's better than running totally out Wipe your shoes down every day so that they don't get all stained up and messed up. Okay, what I do is I try to buy good shoes, like $50 shoes marked down to 20, but what you can also do is you can buy your shoes, like your marked down shoes at Walmart for seven and just suffer with those for a while. Okay, like if your jeans are not really, really dirty, but just the hems are, I, let's see if I can find it. Yes. You can wash your hems with a little of this soap. Just cut a little piece off. I started cleaning all kinds of stuff with that. And then maybe you can wear your pants an extra day. Um, another thing that I do is I cut my fabric softeners in half and when I'm using dry cleaning bags, I cut the, the strip in half and I uh, dry clean items in my dry cleaning bag twice with that half. Okay, or you can wash your armpits out of your clothes if they're kind of stinky, but other than that, clean. Okay, if you 
get regular oil changes and you make sure your car has transmission fluid like I have a Corolla and if you do that your Corolla will last forever rotate your tires what I do is I when I go I buy two new tires in the back and I put the back tires on the front and then I drive them to shreds not if you do a lot of freeway driving uh, try to walk as opposed to uh, driving if you can okay okay so what I've been doing is I've been learning stuff online cooking feng shui ro uh, rooftop gardening and uh, cheese making uh, the cheese making is not coming along too well but eventually I'll find a recipe that's easy okay number 59 line your trash cans with newspaper and the day everybody didn't um, have trash bags or just throw your trash in the trash can and then rinse your trash can out these are all mine it's like majoring in minors and it adds up to a major thing you're going to raise your standard of living i guarantee you 60 avoid paper towels and napkins you know when i first started doing this i was in so much misery i, I really hated it but i've been using like my dish towels for napkins or wash rags uh the paper towel the paper t mainly what i've been using the paper towels is like to drain grease off my food or my napkins okay so say you need to buy some clothes what i do is i buy three shirts two pants and one shoes every, ever every three months so this time what i need is two beige jeans and two blue jeans so i'm watching walmart and i'll either buy teen sizes that are only ten dollars or i'll wait until the regular size is 11 and i'll buy four and then i'm looking for polo shirts and sometimes if you're a woman and you need polo shirts you can find them in the men's department target is good for that too and then we already talked about buying better shoes when they're on sale or buying cheap shoes marked down this is kind of a selfish uh, thing but this is a good thing to do you know sometimes you got to take care of yourself like christmas time i went in and they had a whole bunch of size large shirts for my in my son's size so i bought them all so if you go into a thrift store and you find stuff you can really use go ahead and buy it all okay save your change like your quarters for laundry and your dimes and nickels i use them to refill the water or if you start running low on money you can use your change to get you by until um payday okay number 64 take a bath before you go to bed to save your bed from getting stinky and gross that way you can go an extra couple days even a week without washing your sheets number 65 buy muffin mix pancake mix cookies cake mix and frosting for a dollar the kind that has the sprinkles on the frosting okay what i discovered is what's really good is if you fill your cupcake papers halfway full that's like a muffin top or you can use uh, your muffins just like cookies those are good with tea okay buy a variety of nuts raisins and dry fruit when you can find them for a dollar it's not always possible or one or two extras and then buy a big variety of cereal for a dollar and if you start getting really broke just eat cereal and milk you know when you're having your two meals like you have a tuna salad a tu big tuna sandwich and a fruit or a salad for lunch and then you know a regular dinner and if you get hungry a bowl of cereal or you can eat that in the morning i buy cereal all the time for a dollar okay number 69 I know this is a long video, but you can watch it little by little. I wanted to get all my cheap tips in one um, video. So number 69, buy your pouches of powdered milk at Walmart. If you buy the package with 10 pouches, it's $9, so you're saving a dollar. You're getting one pouch free. And start getting it into your mind 
20% uh, is every fifth package free. 16% is like you're getting um, a free egg, you're getting a free, uh, you know, sausage or whatever. Okay, 70, buy generic soda pop. Is generic soda pop good? No, but it's way cheaper. It's 74 cents at Walmart, and they didn't have any again today. I could have gone to the other Walmart, but it was very hot. Okay, buy coats at the thrift store. So, okay, you know you need two or three coats per year. Try to find them either marked down or at the thrift store. Um, you know those flannel coats with the the like puffy white um, lining. I used to buy those all day long in the thrift store. Good luck finding them. Okay, now 72. Buy 20 pound bags of flour, sugar, cornmeal, oatmeal, beans, and rice, potatoes, onions, carrots, big, big um, bottles of short of oil and shortening. That is really going to save you money and then get used to eating it. Like with oatmeal, I make granola bars, oatmeal cookies. I think the um, really good oatmeal cookie uh, recipe is still on my Twitter. Okay, now, 73. In your freezer, stockpile margarine. Don't let yourself run out of margarine and butter. And then stockpile big bottles of citrus. Like I needed grapefruit juice and I couldn't find good grapefruits. I thought this will never happen again. So I stockpile big bottles of grapefruit juice or you can buy, um, you know, frozen juice. I couldn't find frozen grapefruit juice. Today when I um, was at Walmart, the shelves were all bare again. I go, oh God, here we go again. 74, buy a bagless vacuum. That sounds like not a big deal, but like I'm by a freeway and I vacuum a lot and my, I'm always needing to dump my vacuum. Buy a bagless vacuum. Number 75, eat the same thing for two days in a row. You might go, I don't like that stuff. Okay, freeze the other half and eat it next week. A beef stew, stuff like that is really good leftover. Spaghetti, lasagna, you know. Okay, now, 77, stockpile cans of vegetables and fruit, soup, meals, macaroni and cheese, hamburger helper, and rice -a And try to find that stuff at the cheapest possible price or a dollar for your food storage. And then if you start getting low on money, you're just going to eat that for a couple days. You can put hot dogs in macaroni and cheese. You can, if you have cheese, you can make homemade macaroni and cheese, eggs and cheese, 78. When preparing for the holidays, try to find markdowns on candy. I found a bunch of markdowns on candy. I don't know if it's, this is not going to go stale, 50 cents. These are not going stale because mama's gonna eat them. So prepare and get your candy. And you know, they, they're no telling how much they plan on charging us for candy. Okay, number 79, buy cans of beans, cans of beans and bags of rice and flour. So you can make uh, flour tortillas, and beans and you know make some Mexican rice um one of the followers left a really good recipe for Mexican rice I put it on the Twitter and get yourself a notebook and start writing these recipes okay now I learned this from Dia's Frugal Life thank you Dia you guys go to Dia's Frugal Life and follow Dia because she's very very frugal and she's very very smart wash cleaning rags immediately with detergent and bleach. So what she did, and I never thought about doing this. I like wring mine out, and you know, I throw them in the washer, but I get them in the sink with detergent and bleach and I scrub them out, you know, and I leave them sitting in there and then I rinse them and I wring them out and I hang them out and voila. Those little tips are really gonna save you from using paper towels, running out of rags. Okay, I store 
plastic straws because at one point they said, guess what? You guys aren't getting any more straws. I go, what? And also make sure you stockpile ice. I, I had no room for ice in my freezer. And I thought when I eat this down, I'm making at least room for one ice cube tray because I was in misery. Sometimes I just said I can't stand it and I bought rice. Okay, now, 82. Pat, I have one right here. These are pretty good. You can eat these right out of the, I usually make sandwiches or I eat them on crackers. Buy pouches of tuna, uh, boiled eggs, cheese and peanut butter, and then try to find good wheat crackers, just in case you ever had to eat your crackers. The only place I can find them is 99 cent only. And then you can eat that with some tea, so you would have Pouches of tuna, boiled eggs, cheese or peanut butter, and wheat crackers and cold tea. 83. This is a good one. Take the best care of your stuff you can, so when you are done with it, you can sell it. This is a good example. See this blouse? I probably had it for five years. I don't take really good care of it, but I don't sleep in it. You know, I don't abuse it. And when I'm done with it, I mean, I've been wearing this thing five years. I can sell it for for three dollars and you know when I'm done with my jewelry now this kind of stuff will last you for a lifetime but you know or if I needed money I could sell it so take the best care you can of your stuff so you can sell it it doesn't even have to be that great it's just like if somebody else doesn't have one like you know the patio furniture out there yeah I can sell that I would sell the two little tables for um five dollars and if they said will you take less i go well how much i go three dollars i got it free i go okay and the little patio uh table i sell little tables and things like that for five to ten dollars so figure my free patio furniture say i sold my two tables for three dollars and the big table for ten dollars that's thirteen dollars and then three dollars each on the mate the baseball uh, mitt so that's $19 and if they show interest and they have kids you can drop the um, price and then you'll get some blessings as well okay 84 buy things at the cheap at the closest price of resale that you can so like this blouse I probably didn't pay too much for it I don't remember a lot of times I buy uh, clothes at $1. And if when I'm selling it, I remember, and I wore it for long, I will sell it for $2. You have to make a little money because the swap meet is not that cheap anymore. It's about uh, $30 to get in. So you're selling $31 items just to get in. That's why a yard sale is better. So as close to the resale, like my mini fireplace that I bought for $5, the, uh, another thing is if you can find adapters at swap meets and stuff, buy those and you can sell those online because I had to buy an adapter and it cost me uh, 20 bucks. Um, okay, and the other thing is buy used luxury items to resale. Okay, like this ring resembles a luxury item. It's not. But someone will pay me $3 for it. Okay, plan clothes in case you have to go to a nice event. Usually what I do is I buy like nice shirts and then I get beige slacks or black. You don't need that many, one or two pants and then a bunch of shirts. And, and you can, or if you find dresses that are in your size and like $1, I pick them up and then, you know, if I don't use them myself. Okay, so I'm going to a nice place like the cruise. I bought a bunch of shirts and, you know, I'm all set for a cruise. As soon as the coast is clear. Make bread. Learn to make bread, flat bread, and flour tortillas. I've done it many times on my channel, and that way you're not going to be going, oh, woe is me, inflation is too expensive. No, you're just going to make your own little batch. Um, okay, save 
your bacon, sausage, and meat drippings. Just save it in the freezer. Number 88, try to do the one-stop shopping. One of the best things is um, Walmart. They have almost everything. I go there a lot. Okay, and then try to come up with a certain amount of money that is, is enough for special occasions. So say if you're saving two or three dollars a week and you have a, a special occasion, then you're not having to take it out of your um, budget. Or if you see, like I saw the tablecloth for 50 cents, and so I thought I'll take it, and then I saw a footed plate and some plates that would look nice, and so for two and a half dollars, I, you know, case. So you're saving a special, a little bit of money for like special occasions. Another thing, if you start going really broke, then you can spend it. Okay, now this one is a good one, 90. When you hear a good tip, start doing it right away. It's really, really going to uh, help you, okay? Ellen's Abundant Life. Go to Ellen's Abundant Life and, and and subscribe and what she said is she gets the five gallon buckets at Walmart Mart or if you can get them at a bakery for a dollar and those are really good to have because you can store food in them you can plant plants in them you can keep big amounts of laundry detergent in them so I'm gonna start doing that uh, they have them at Walmart Ellen's Abundant Life thank you Ellen love your channel and Diaz Frugal Life Okay, if you can, try to find appliances at the thrift store. Buy somebody else's dehydrator, crock pot, waffle maker, bread maker. That was mentioned on uh, Ellen's Abundant Life. I have seen them. I hope I have that name right for the channel. If not, I'll put it in the comments. Okay, you want to prepare for heat in case the uh, power goes out uh, like a buddy heater or something they're not that cheap and the propane is not that cheap either but it's got to be done um, you know uh, even like little hibachis for cooking on or um, Ellen's Abundant Life mentioned those little one one burner uh, stoves that's a good thing too okay number 93 okay I learned this when I went to the food um, food pantry I struck up a conversation with a guy and you know hairdressers and and he said I don't have a refrigerator and I knew that was one of the big reasons a lot of people didn't like this particular food pantry I go well what do you do he just puts ice in the bottom of a, a cooler and puts food on top and I thought yeah that's a good one just get yourself one of those big plastic containers at Walmart and put your um, ice on the bottom and and throw your food on that or throw the um, dry ice in your freezer so prepare that way or you can do that in your car okay buy one or two packages of cheese and pasta every time you turn around because you can really live on uh, macaroni and cheese the way I make it is I like to make it kind of uh, not too thick the, I make milk I take butter, flour, and I cook the flour, and then I add milk little by little, and I put cheese and then pasta, but I make mine kind of like soup, and I love to eat it that way. Okay, save all your newspapers and all your bags and baggies, and you know, remember the day when your grandmother used to save foil? I mean, if it's not got grease and stuff on it, you can save it. Um, learn to make these items. Granola bars, flat bread, and yogurt. I'm, I'm working on cheese. <laughs> okay, 98. Buy 60 eggs at the beginning of the month. That was a message under, um, I think it was Henzo. Thank you, Henzo. He has left so many good um, messages. One that, another one that um, comes to mind, and this is really good. Add a pat of butter and a little pile of cheese to your top ramen and some salt and pepper. That is good, you guys. Thank you, Hansel. 
Um, okay, 99. Okay, try to get in a position where you have everything you need. You have dish soap. You have everything you need. You bought it cheap. This is how rich people get along. They don't need anything. So how you do that, if you're not a rich person, is you bring the things you need way down little, like food, water, gas, cash, a weapon, and heat. So once you get your food, you know, you're pretty set. You basically have everything you need. You know, you're not living in a mansion. You don't have a chef, stuff like that. But when you get to the point where you have everything you need, then you can go for a long time. Now, let's see. I forgot what I said was 100. Oh, I saved the best for last. Yes. Just in case any of you didn't watch till the end, you will not get this tip. Avoid pests, germs, and disease by taking the trash out every single day. Okay, I was a nursing student, and one of the big jobs in a hospital is disposing of the garbage. And so when I would go in, and my poor husband was so effing sick, that room would be loaded. I had the night shift. I would take all the garbage and I would throw it all in the big trash can and I would throw it in the hall. I go, he is almost effing, effing dying. How dare you leave this garbage in here? So that is my last tip. Now I want to show you some stuff that I bought. These are a luxury, but I bought them. It is a 32 ounce amber glass tumbler. I bought it at a thrift store. This is I use this on almost every party I have given for years, and it's a little a little bowl candy dish. And then I bought this at 99 cent only, and I could only get one, and I really love it. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.